My first, I, if I could rip my face off, I would. I would rip my face off, but I'm not gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Um, I, I, I am out shopping at 8.50, you know, the day before Thanksgiving, because I sent a delivery somewhere and the delivery did not go to the location it was supposed to. The delivery got sent to, the delivery got sent to a UPS. First off, my first question as a whole human is, if somebody put an address in and the address took me to UPS, I would think in my mind, something's wrong because surely, surely a human wouldn't get an expensive order and deliver it to UPS. First question, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that one out. So I'm gonna say, assuming you didn't, if you got there and it was UPS, call the people who gave you the food. Call the people who gave you the food. You don't get an answer, don't leave the food, but why would you leave the food at UPS? Moving along, y'all, my frustration. So, first off, if you deliver my food somewhere and it didn't go to me, the first thing I'm gonna not wanna do is get that food because who touched it? <laughs> why would I ever leave food at UPS? I'm gonna throw that in the trash. Um, either way, that's what happened. And so $300 worth of food got delivered. $300 worth of food got delivered to UPS while I was at the salon trying to get my hair combed so I could be a little type Q, which means nothing. You know why? Because now you can't ruin somebody's Thanksgiving. You have to fix that person's Thanksgiving because you can't not give them food because they needed this food for Thanksgiving because they spent their money. So that's why I'm out. Still shopping with a smile on my face. And I am furious. I am so furious. I wanted to cry, but I was like, sometimes what you gonna do? <laughs> like, just throw the hands up. Throw the hands up. Throw the hands up. Because I am pissed. And then it also made me realize that, you know, everybody might not respect your business the way you respect your business. So when you hire outside sources, You have to know and understand that they may not respect your stuff the way you respect your stuff. And sometimes, it's just you. And if somebody gets screwed over, I would never want to get screwed over. I have to fix it. So I have to go home and fix it. Vegan mac and cheese, stuffing, pit greens, veggie rolls, uh, a whole cake, a whole sweet potato cheesecake, a whole banana pudding. Y'all, I, I, I don't know if y'all have ever seen me this angry, and this is as angry as I'm gonna get, because I wanna swear at everybody that walks near me, I'm so freaking livid. But that's why I'm shopping at 8.53, the day before Thanksgiving. I'm pissed. So the cool part about today is it's Sunday and I was in the bed all day. I think my body was like, I'm tired. I just want to rest. And I was like, rest the inside. Let's just lay down. I didn't even cook. We ordered food, everything. But all day I've just been thinking like, oh, you have to do the stuff that God told y'all to do because other people's blessings are dependent on it. It's a crazy, crazy thing, but like, there are certain things that probably have happened to me in the last week or two that if I didn't do my part, Stuff wouldn't go down. And um, I was like, people should know that. Like, 
the things that you are pushed to do. There's so many. I say it all the time. Amazing things happen in the most uncomfortable places. So I know sometimes we don't do stuff because it's uncomfortable. But the reality is you should live in the uncomfortable area. Because some of the greatest things happen. So think about the last thing God told you to do. You know exactly what it is. And go do that. Because you can't get to the next place until you do it. In the name of Jesus. That's what I was thinking, so I just want to say it out loud. There are things I have to finish because there are things waiting. Things can't happen until I do my part. It's like a butterfly effect. <sighs> Late nights with you. This is what her brain thinks about. I got work to do. I talk to you later.